are turned in here tonight. That is what they will be. EA Sports. It's in the game. Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. All right, here he is, the decorated kickboxer, back for more here tonight. And he's so comfortable in the striking realm. It's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading or writing. Oh, it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress. I know. When you're in kickboxing range, you are in the fire. There is no safety. You're right in range to be getting knocked out. But he does not fear that. He loves it. He loves the com he loves the combat. He loves the engagement. But what you have to understand is he's not engaging his opponent on their turn. He's doing it on his turn. Whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks, he's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker. One of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed, it was the charisma, it was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's gonna look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes. would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 141 pounds, fighting out of Athens, Georgia, Chico. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. You can give me your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, just make it efficient. Good to have you with us tonight from T-Mobile Arena, the home of the NHL's Vegas Golden Knights. And the building in which DC shocked some of the MMA world at UFC 226, uh, but this venue will always have a special place. This venue holds a special place in my heart. UFC 226, I became the double champion. This is a fight venue that you should want to compete in. A great arena where you can make history. Tonight, you get your chance. Lands flush with that right hand. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Hands high, hands high. Big punch man the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Trying single collar tie now. What a body kick. 
Misses again with a right punch. Clean with the right hook. Lee gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can round. And he landed the right hand there. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Beautiful straight punch there by Lee. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Oh, straight right. Man, these guys are flowing back and forth. He's giving him so many different things right now. Just over three minutes now to go in round one. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Under three minutes now to go in what has been a very fast-paced opening round here. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. I mean, he's cutting them down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, man, look at that. Pick turn perfect. Got to the leg, got to his position, got another beautiful takedown. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you've got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop you. you got to defend. But you can see him now starting to gain posture in the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes. It's starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Head kick. Oh, straight right. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Went for the inside leg kick. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Lee gets caught by that straight punch. That'll get his attention. Punch coming, it's blocked. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Beautiful hand skills here, the right then the left. That one snuck in. Oh. He's hurt bad, he's hurt bad, John. He's got a pressure. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Well placed kick there by Lee. 20 seconds now remain in the round. This fight's gonna be over, DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent got his going low. And now he's down for a very bad. Down land the queen. Back and forth we go. Round two coming up next. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round. And he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's going to stand there and he's not on his toes and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. You ready to fight? Ready. Round two is underway. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Big body kick land. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks.
Oh, he's looking to set up that head kick. No good. Got clip with the right hand. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Body kick now by Lee. Such a sneaky head kick he did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Beautiful leg kick throw. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Oh, big punch lands. Right hand on point. Strong defense there to block the shot. Nice instincts. Oh, vicious kick to the outside of that lead leg. You gotta start checking these, these man. You gotta check these kicks, or you're gonna be limping around the octagon very short. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Miss with that jab attempted. Lee's kick looked like it might have been a good one, but it gets blocked. And both guys really throwing with authority. Man, has he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two. Definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. What? Double leg is good. Inside his opponent's guard here, DC. You don't want to play around here too long. No, you gotta either have two hands in or two hands out. Our guys start to attack triangle. Trying to do damage now with the kick. That's a miss. Leg kick. Oh, collar tie. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Head kick. Nice straight punch. Powerful leg kick lands. out of range with that right hand. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Ooh, head kick lands. was hurt. Big head kick. landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not pass out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. Nice punch by Lee. Got the single collar tie. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Just misses with the punch by Lee. Ten minutes in the books. Well, a lot of high-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1 level right? kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. 
All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him tonight. That was so impressive to see someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Well, just as he did the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Punch over the top. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. All right, so he's landed some good shots. He hates to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Nice punch lands over the top. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Whoa! What a to throw at the exact right moment. Oh! That knee might have landed there. Swing and a miss on the count. Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. Oh, look at him land another jab there. He's certainly using that weapon effectively here. Tonight. The most effective weapon in all of boxing, in all of combat sports, is a jab. This young man has a knowledge of using it like no one else. Man, as effective a straight punch as we've seen all night. Huge straight punch lands, and he's got him hurt very bad. Big power punch land. Now he gets back to range. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, an obvious limp there. His leg hurting for certain. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Whiffs on that offering. Well, he oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Oh, what a hit he lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike in the night. Gets up again here, but hurting. Look at him drive his shin into his own body with that body. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Now he's got the Muay Thai plug. Oh, that's going to soften him up. Massive knee to the body. So he continues to land that patented jab and keeping his opponent at bay. You can know that it's coming, but until you're in there with him, the speed and the power of that jab is something you can't really prepare for. Sound defense there as he blocks the shot. Oh, and he tags him with the straight, beautifully placed there by Lee. 30 seconds remain in the round. Big head kick land. Nice kick. Lee gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. Single collar tie now.
Just misses there with the left. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. All right, let's get you a replay from that previous round. It was the big knockdown courtesy of that kick that, that nearly closed the show for good. It almost closed the show, but nothing's more discouraging than when you get somebody hurt that bad and you don't shut the door. He has to go back to work now knowing that he's got about as tough a guy as, if, as he's ever had in front of him in the octagon tonight. Ready to fight? Ready. Good. Right up the elbow. Body keeps Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Gets up clearly. He wanted this fight back to its feet despite having a dominant position on the ground. Oh man, how is he standing? Brutal knee to the body. Just missed with the left there. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Ooh, big shot lands. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here. Really starting to connect on a lot of strikes. It looked like it did stun him a little bit. He needs to start. Wow! And just like that, the fight is over. He's done. He's done. Oh, my goodness. What a fight. Pinpoint strike to end this fight. It landed flush. I'm not even sure the opponent only saw it coming. And before he could recover, the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight. Hard to perform much better than he did tonight. A huge knockout under the lights. They'll be talking about that one for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called us on to this contest at one minute, nine seconds of round number four. Playing the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon. So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by knockout. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that'll listen, I am going to knock this man out. He did it in an even more impressive fashion.